after we have ended the meeting, the grandma actually approached me and said, You are Yongchen, right? Uh, why not you join us for dinner uh, with the family? I was uh, again taken by surprise because you know I'm just a client advisor, right? I could have just finished my work and then I leave and the family can continue to have their family dinner. Hi everybody, my name is Yong Chen. I'm a team lead of the advisory team. I'm 35 years old this year. Building meaningful relationships is important to me, not just uh, for my personal life, I think it applies in my work life as well. It's the same as trying to build meaningful relationships with your family members. You don't just want to talk about one aspect of the things, you want to be able to have meaningful conversation with them around uh, you know, all aspects of their life. That will build bonds and give you a deeper sense of belonging to the family. So recently, my client, uh, who is in his early 50s, uh, told me that he decided to stop work. And uh, I asked him over lunch for, for the reason for doing so which came as a pleasant surprise to me. Uh, he said that, hey, Yong Chun, because you say so, uh, you say that I can retire. And he told me that the work that we do here at Provident actually helped him to validate his financial situation and uh, gave him a lot of confidence that he's able to make this decision and he's able to stop work earlier than his peers. Uh, a few months ago, I, I wrote an article about uh, this client, uh, her case study, about how we had helped her to stay the course, stay invested during the market crash in March 2020. And after the article was published, I actually sent it to her. And I told her that hey, I didn't put your name, I named this character Claudia. And funny enough, uh, subsequently, whenever she texts me, she says, I'm Claudia here. And we kind of have the understanding that she, she, she becomes Claudia. In her real world, she's actually quite calm and rational. Uh, but whenever we, it comes to managing or investing her money, she, she admits that she becomes quite emotional. You know, she tends to look at the market, look at the market whether is it high or low before she starts her investments. So I guess having that nickname Claudia is quite apt when it comes to communicating because uh, when we say Claudia, we are not referring to the real her but the investing her. In some way or another, it, it strengthens the relationship. You know, I have been calling her Claudia since. So recently, I, I went to my client's place uh, where he actually invited me to share with his mother the importance of uh, writing a will, setting up a will for herself. After we have ended the meeting, the grandma actually approached me and said, You are Yong Chen, right? Uh, why not you join us for dinner uh, with the family? I was uh, against taken by surprise because you know I'm just a client advisor, right? I could have just finished my work and then I leave and the family can continue to have their family dinner. Quite a warm and fuzzy feeling that I have uh, because I, I felt that it's a relationship beyond professional one. Having the privilege to join the family for such a, I would say, a simple, casual um, dinner is, it means, it means quite a lot to me. I believe that trust is not built overnight. Most of my clients' relationship actually usually start off in a very professional manner. Uh, initially, when they first engage me, they might not know me well and uh, it is understandable that they might have uh, reservations. Uh, but over time, as we have more interaction in a professional setting or in informal setting, um, they get to know me better, uh, we have a lot more conversation and they share their concerns with me and we are able to resolve some of their financial issues together. Um, that's where the relationship starts growing and that's where uh, I would say that the, the special bond between the client advisor and the client is built. Having clients whom I can speak comfortably over serious matters allowed me to enjoy my work more and it also adds a certain depth to the professional relationship that we have. And it's important to me because it shapes how I view the role of a client advisor should be.